Oliver, and today I'm going to teach you how to stake your BitTensor Tile token with the Polkadot.js extension application. And also, I'm going to teach you how to store it as well. Um, so, this is going to be like a two part video. So, I'm going to have the uh, chapters marked so y'all can um, get where y'all need to go. But in order to start, you want to head over to uh, docs.bittensor.com. And what you're going to do, you're going to go to the developer. Um, documentation, scroll to the menu to the left, scroll down until you see where it says staking, so drop down right here, so it's staking with polkadot.js. Um, they actually show you screenshots of how to do it, but I'm going to actually do a, you know, an actual tutorial video to walk you through the process. And um, what the first thing you want to do is download the polkadot.js extension application. It's available only on Chrome slash Brave. Um, and Firefox, right? So you want to download this. I already have mine installed on the Brave browser. And um, yeah, once you set up your account, it's very similar to how you would set up a MetaMask wallet. All right, so once you already set up your Polkadot.js extension application and wallet, you want to head back over to the documentation. So you want to scroll down here and navigate the BitTensor uh, Substrat portal um, that's on the polkadot.js uh, org, and it's going to take you to this page right here. So what I'm going to do is connect my wallet and I'm going to hit allow access. So, so I clicked it. So we're going to refresh it. Okay, here we go. So I connected my polkadot wallet and um, what we're going to do is test a small amount. We're going to send some BitTensor on our Polkadot.js wallet. So I'm going to copy my public recipient address and head over to KuCoin. And I'm going to paste the address in here. All right. So we're going to test a small amount. So let's do 0 0.5 and we're going to withdraw. So it's um, in progress right now. We're just going to wait until we see like a tile balance. And I'm going to cut the video here. All right. So our tile officially made it. And um, this is a good sign. So now we can send the rest. All right. So our full amount of tile just made it over to our Polkadot wallet. And this is going to be the first chapter. This is how you officially store your BitTensor. This is one way. I know there's plenty of other ways you can do it. But um, for me, I'm familiar with the Polkadot.js wallet. All right, so this is a quick update. So if you're running into any issues or errors trying to submit the transaction or send BitTensor, first thing you want to do, head over to settings. You may see like a one icon, right? So you want to head over to settings. You want to head over to metadata. And up here in the extensions area, you may see like an upgradable extension. So if it's an update, right like an upgrade to update the extension the polkadot.js wallet you want to um, upgrade it you come back over here to your polkadot.js wallet hit the three tabs then on the network you should be able to see BitTensor that's added so you may come across an error where it says error unable to decode using the supplied passphrase so what you want to do is head over to your polkadot.js wallet hit the three dots hit forget account and then re-import your seed phrase the second time and it should work when you're trying to submit a transaction so this is going to be it for this tutorial for this chapter so let's get to the staking process on chapter two all right, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that your Polkadot.js wallet is connected to the Substrate portal. So after that, you want to head over to this tab, uh, Developers tab, and you want to go to Extrinsics. On the Submit the Following Extrinsic, you want to go to the Subtensor module. We're going to select Add State. All right, so the next step is we're going to find the hotkey with the verified validators on talstats.io. We're going to head over to Validators and then click on Verified Validators. So here's a catalog of different validators that you can select. So I'm going to select Open Tensor Foundation just to um, you know keep it simple and conservative. So you have all your information here, the total stake, the total daily rewards and then the network. So we're gonna copy the hotkey and head back to the substrate portal and we're gonna paste it in here. 
and we're going to select it. And then on the amount state, head back to the documentation. I'm going to stake one just for testing. So note that one tau equals 10, 9, so val. So therefore, if you wish to stake one tau, then input so one followed by nine zeros. We're going to head back. I'm going to put in one and then nine zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we're going to hit submit transaction. We're just going to review everything. So everything looks good. All right, so we're going to hit sign and submit. I'm going to put in my password and sign the transaction. Okay, so we just cleared. All right, so let's go back to accounts. We should be staking now. So we're gonna head over here. We're gonna hit uh, stake tile. Allow. Then go to open tensor foundation. We're staking now. So delegated stake, one towel. We are in, guys. And um, I mean, this is my first time doing it. So I'm pretty amped up. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you want to unstake, you just hit max on your delegated stake and then hit undelegate. Make sure y'all smash the like button. This is Oliver, and I'm signing out.